Welcome to UKSG 2020 in Brighton. This is the First Timers Guide to the Conference and the Guide to Brighton. OK, just a little bit of housekeeping before we start. Throughout the presentation, you will come across suggested URLs to visit for further information. As this video cannot use embedded links, to assist you we have compiled separate lists of hot links. These lists can be found on the YouTube download page for this video and on the UKSG website under First Timers Information. Thank you for registering for UKSG 2020 Conference and Exhibition and a hearty welcome from us all. The conference is being held in the glorious English South Coast Resort of Brighton from the 30th of March to the 1st of April 2020. We're looking forward to welcoming you as a first-time delegate and are sure you will find the event informative and enjoyable. Over 900 colleagues should be attending, but you will find us a friendly bunch who will help make your conference a memorable experience. We hope you are looking forward to meeting new people and old friends. The purpose of this tutorial is to let you know what to expect and guide you through all aspects of the conference as well as giving you hints and tips for the best experience of the conference in particular and Brighton in general. Hi, my name is Brian Lewis and I'm Digital Communications Associate at UKSG. At a conference you'll find me in a bright blue vest with Here to Help written on the back. You got a problem? You need information? You got money to give away? Then I'm your man. Right, you know the dates. Now, where is it? It's being held in Brighton, on the south coast of England, at the Brighton Centre, on the seafront, a stone's throw from the famous Brighton Pier. The full address is below. Unless you live locally, I guess you'll be coming by air or road and possibly using public transport. If you're travelling by plane, then the following should prove useful. If you're travelling by road in the UK, this should be helpful. Here's some information for you if you're travelling by road from outside of the UK. If you're travelling by public transport, details can be found by going to www.visitbrighton.com. Then, on the Plan Your Visit drop-down menu, choose Getting Here. And then on the Getting Here Read More drop-down, you can choose Buses and Coach Information, Train Information. There's also more information on transport on this page. Here is some useful information if you're not a resident of the UK.
Here is some information which you might find useful. The climate in Brighton during March and April can be summarised as cool and reasonably dry. March is in the spring in Brighton and is typically the fourth coldest month of the year. Daytime maximum temperatures average around a cool 9 degrees centigrade while at night 3 degrees centigrade is not unusual. But it is a UK so pack something waterproof. As Brighton is a popular visitor and holidaymaker's destination, it is advisable to book your stay as early as possible. Accommodation options are available on the UKSG website or at www.visitbrighton.com slash accommodation. Right, what do you need to pack? It's all about packing lots of layers of clothes. The British weather is very unpredictable. We could be sitting in sunshine and a couple of hours later there may be rain and it could be cold. Welcome to the UK. Comfortable clothes are suggested and we particularly recommend comfortable shoes. But don't forget your glad rags for the conference gala event on Tuesday. You might to know, like to know the average temperatures in Brighton in March. Now, a little bit more. Dietary requirements. Any special dietary requirements should have been notified on the registration form. If you did not book yourself on the conference, it would be worth checking with the UKSG registration help desk who will be able to ascertain if your requirements have been logged. Code of contact. As you might expect, there is a code of contact that we require delegates to abide by. Details can be found on the UKSG website. Now, the conference app. This year, in order to enhance our eco-credentials, we are printing a lot fewer brochures and these will only be available on request. The app is the essential guide for the conference and can be easily downloaded from the Apple Store or Google Play look for UKSG events. This can also be used online. It features such things as full details of session speakers, exhibitors and delegates, maps to help you around the conference. You can create your own schedule. You can request meetings. The social wall is available and easy networking with other delegates. You can also ask plenary sp speakers questions through the app. And there is a host of local and practical information. You will also receive timely and helpful notifications. One point, please remember to complete the in-app survey at the end of the conference. It helps us to improve the app year on year. Thank you. The first time as reception. On the Sunday evening, there is a first time as reception where you can meet UKSG staff, committee members, and other first timers with free nibbles and drinks. Come along and relax in the company of delegates with common interests. Booking is essential and can be completed at the UKSG website on the conference page under social events. The types of people attending the UKSG conference are many and varied, but in the main they consist of librarians, publishers, tech and service providers, scholars, funders and database providers. Details of attendees, their affiliations and of the exhibition and speakers can be easily found in the app. Now, a little bit about the format of the meeting. There are a number of plenary sessions over the three days where you can ask questions live via the app, or if you prefer to use Twitter, use the hashtag UKSG2020. 
You can choose from four different breakout sessions. In each breakout session, there is a choice of about six talks. Each session is repeated twice over the three days, giving you the chance to pick your favourite subjects. The lightning sessions are fast introductions to new topics, research or products. Lunches are served in the exhibition area with a number of water stations dotted around the location. All spare lunches are being donated to Antifreeze, a homeless charity, part of the Off the Fence group. Go to the Off the Fence website for more details. Sunday evening is reserved for the first time as reception. Monday night is quiz night and Tuesday is the gala event at the Prism Nightclub. Now don't forget to book your seats because places are limited. Now if you find yourself with some spare time, there are plenty of things to do in Brighton. Brighton on the UK south coast is a young and lively town that is widely known for its diverse community, great art scene and quirky restaurants and bars. Brighton attracts millions of visitors every year and has developed into the UK's most popular seaside resort where tourists can partake in a wide range of activities. A guide to the top 10 things to do in Brighton are on the following pages. We've arranged two free walking tours of Brighton for Sunday the 29th of March at 1.30 and 3 o'clock. If you'd like a place, please register at the UKSG website on the conference page under social events. You can find other information on the Visit Brighton smartphone app, now available from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. As promised, we have listed our top 10 attractions of things to do in Brighton. You can visit the Palace Pier. Visit the lanes. Or visit the Royal Pavilion. You can visit the world's oldest aquarium. Go up British Airways I-360 or the Brighton Eye, if you will. Try taking a tour on the city bus. You can visit Brighton's Museum and Art Gallery. Or how about taking a walk on Brighton Beach? Or discover Hove's iconic beach huts? Or how about a visit to the Brighton Marina? If you're looking for something else, you might like to download the Visit Brighton app, now available from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store, or visit the Brighton Visitors website. Well, that's it. I hope you found it useful and entertaining and it will enhance your UKSG 2020 experience. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me or one of the UKSG staff, and please do have a great conference.